Headlined by James Harden, Bradley Beal, and Zach Levine, the top of the 2022 NBA free agent class is loaded with elite shooting guards, the type of players who can elevate a team's offense with just their presence. There are top-notch players from other position groups too, however, including somewhat shockingly, promising 23-year-old center DeAndre Ayton after he failed to come to terms on an extension with the Phoenix Suns. So here are the top 15 NBA free agents that are available next offseason. Here we go. At number one, we've got James Harden, a top-tier scorer and passer in the NBA with a driving ability that's extremely difficult to stop thanks to his strong right shoulder and tendency to draw fouls. Last year, he averaged 24.6 points per game, 7.9 rebounds, 10.8 assists, and 1.6 steals, all while shooting 46.6% from the field and 36% from three. This year, he's set to earn over $44 million while earning $227 million throughout his career. At number two is Bradley Beal. He's developed into one of the best two guards in the league over recent years. An explosive scorer who can throw down dunks in the half court and hit jumpers from all over the place, even those with a high degree of difficulty. Last year, he averaged 31.3 points per game, 4.7 rebounds, 4.4 assists, all while shooting 48.5% from the field and 34.9% from three. He'll be earning $34.5 million this year with a total career earning of 145 mil. At number three is Zach Levine. One of the most freakish athletes in the league who has developed the rest of his game to match his unreal leaping abilities over recent years. Excellent bucket getter from three, the mid-range and the basket area. Last year, he scored 27.4 points per game, five rebounds, 4.9 assists, and shot 50% from the field and 41% from three. He'll make 19.5 million this year with career earnings of 68 mil. At number four is DeAndre Aiden, an athletic center with elite rebounding marks, but who still has to figure out how to be more consistent on a nightly basis. Even so, he made huge strides in that department, helping guide the Suns to last year's finals. Fantastic finisher near the basket with a solid face-up game from the mid-range. Last year, he averaged 14.4 points per game, 10.5 rebounds, 1.4 assists, and shot 62% from the field. He'll make 12.6 mil this year with career earnings of 27 million. At number five is Kyrie Irving, an energetic player with questionable decision-making when he's actually playing basketball. But he's one of the best point guards in the league who can score against any level of defender and distribute at a high level. Last year, he averaged 26.9 points per game, 4.8 rebounds, six assists, all while shooting 50.6% from the field and 40% from three. He'll earn 35 million this year and has earned 162 million throughout his career. At number six is Russell Westbrook, a walking 20 point triple double on a nightly basis, but without much efficiency to it. Still an overall positive impact player who plays with all out effort. Last year, he had 22.2 points per game, 11.5 rebounds and 11.7 assists. He shot 43% from the field and 31% from deep. This year, he'll earn 44 million and he's earned 247 million throughout his career. At number seven is Colin Sexton, feisty explosive point guard who gets into you defensively and has the quickness to get to the basket with ease on offense, as well as the shooting ability to knock down shots from the outside or pull up to hit them from mid-range. Last year, he had 24.3 points per game, 3.1 rebounds, 4.4 assists, and shot 47% from the field, as well as 37% from deep. He'll earn six million this year with career earnings of 13 million. At number eight is Miles Bridges. Southpaw swingman with freakish finishing ability above the basket. Excellent lob target for alley-oops. Can finish over anyone. Solid defender and plays with energy, but offensive game outside of dunking is limited. Last year, he averaged 12.7 points per game, six rebounds, 2.2 assists, and shot 50% from the field, also 40% from deep. He'll earn five million this year with career earnings of nearly 11 million. At number nine is Yusuf Nurkic big bruising center who is a fantastic screen setter and a slept on passer from mid range. Can also hit shots from that area as well, though he does the most of his damage from near the basket. Last year he averaged 11 and a half points, nine rebounds and 3.4 assists while shooting 51% from the field and 40% from deep. He's set to earn 12 million this year and has made 44 million throughout his career. At number 10 is Jonas Valanciunas, an absolute nuisance down low due to his nonstop energy attacking the glass. Solid post-up game with a reliable hook shot that he likes to go to. Last year, he averaged 17 points per game, 12 and a half rebounds, and 1.8 assists, all while shooting 59% from the field and 37% from deep. He'll make 14 million this year and has made 92 mil throughout his career. At number 11 is TJ Warren, 
crafty, confident bucket getter who loves to score off the dribble. Used to mostly attack from the mid-range, but has become a much improved three-point shooter. Last year, he had 17.1 points per game, 12.5 rebounds, and 1.8 assists, while shooting almost 60% from the field. He'll earn almost $13 million this year, and has made $44 million throughout his career. At number 12 is John Wall. May not be the athlete he was before all the major injuries, but still one of the faster point guards in the NBA. Streaky outside shooter who can play make at a high level. Unlikely he opts out of his massive deal. Not playing with the Rockets isn't helping his stock. Last year he had 20.6 points per game, 3.2 rebounds, 6.9 assists, and shot 40% from the field. He'll make $44 million this year and has gained $184 million throughout his career. At number 13 is Dennis Schroeder. Two-way point guard who likes to be a pest defensively, but can also score and create, though he does lack a super reliable outside jumper. Last year he averaged 15.4 points per game, 3.5 rebounds, and 5 assists per game while shooting 43% from the field and 33% from deep. He'll earn almost $6 million this year, with a career earnings of almost $70 million. At number 14 is Joe Ingles, elite outside shooter who particularly likes to let them fly from the corners. Also able to run pick and rolls and create for teammates, feisty defender. Last year he averaged 12 points per game, 3.5 rebounds, and 4.7 assists to go along with 49% shooting from the field and 45% from deep. He'll make $13 million this year, with career earnings of $52 million. And at number 15 is Thaddeus Young, underrated front court player who is beloved by teammates, good finisher around the basket and uses quickness well on the perimeter. Last year he had 12 points per game, 6 rebounds, 4.3 assists, and shot 56% from the field, as well as 26% from deep. He'll earn $14 million this year, and has career earnings of $118 million. Well guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Top NBA, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. See you all next time.